یا بنی آدم خصوصی نہ تک کمندا کل مسجد او سنز آف آدم ٹیک یور ایڈورنمنٹ ایٹ دی ٹائم آف ایوری پریئر اور ایٹ دی پلیس آف ایوری پریئر مسجد از اس مظرف اینڈ اٹ کین بی ظرف مکان اینڈ ظرف زبان مسجد پریئر ٹائم پریئر پلیس وین ایور یو آر گوئنگ ٹو اے ماسک یو پٹ آن یور ڈریس اینڈ اٹ شوڈ بی دی بیٹر ڈریس یو آر گوئنگ ٹو دی کورٹ آف اللہ یو آر پریزنٹنگ یور سیلف ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ناٹ این شیبی ڈریس If you go to some function, if you go to a dinner, how much you know take care of your, of your dress, but you are going to mosque and you are not at all any careful about your dress. Khuzu zina takum in the kulle masjid. You must have the dress. Best, you, will be, you should be dressed in the proper way. At every time of prayer, at every place of prayer. Vashrabu, vakulu vashrabu. And eat and drink. But don't exceed the limits. Don't be extravagant. Don't eat anything haram. Don't drink anything haram. And then also not overeat and overdrink. It's rough both ways. Innahu la yuhibbul musrifeen. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like the extravagance. Qul man harrama zinat allahi lati akhrad al ibadihi. Now this has also been another extreme throughout the history of religion. Some people, they become pious. Now they think we should not take anything which is you know, very good and very tasty meals we shouldn't take. Why to take these fruit and these things? We should take only very coarse meals. And this to them becomes a very precondition for piety and for godliness. And they don't want to take upon them wear good dress. قُلْ مَنْ حَرَّمَ زِينَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي أَخْرَدَ لِعِبَادِهِ وَالطَّيِّبَاتِ مِنَ الرِّسْقِ Ask them, who has made, declared illegal or impermissible the zenith of Allah? Allah has given you this endowment. He has produced all these things. Only you should earn through halal. But whatever you have earned through halal, you can have best things to eat. If you can afford it, go and eat, it, eat them. If you can afford, have good dress. It is not against taqwa. It is not against piety. The monasticism, you know, The Rahbaniyah, that is not in Islam. قُلْ مَنْ حَرَّمَ زِينَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي أَخْرَجَ لَيْبَادِ Who had forbidden these things, you know, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has made for, for men. لَيْبَادِ وَطَّيِّبَاتِ مِنَ الرِّسْقِ And the good things of eating. قُلْ هِيَ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فِي الْحَيَاتِ الدُّنْيَا خَالِصَةً يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Tell them, these things Allah has created for His believing people. In this world also. But exclusively in the hereafter exclusively for the moments in the hereafter in this world he gives something to others also but the moments also can partake from it because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created these things for his believing bondsmen believing people not for the kuffar it's only you know for the sake of this trial and testing that he's giving to kuffar also but Allah has created them for people who believe in him so don't deprive yourself only under wrong notions of piety and taqwa and zuhd. Kazalika nufasilul ayat ili qawmi ya'lamun. In this way, we detail our revelations. For those people who have knowledge or who want to have knowledge. Qul illa ma harrama rabbi al-fawahisha ma zahara minha wa ma batan. Tell them, my Lord has made, declared unlawful Whatever is shameful, whatever is indecent, whether it is hidden or apparent and evident, while isma and sin, while baghya and trespasses and oppression, baghya, while baghya, baghya goes, if it is against Allah, it is trespassing his limits. If it is against people, it is oppressing the others. While baghya bighair al-haq, without any reason, and that you associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whom or for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not sent down any authority and that you attribute to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for which you have no knowledge, no authority these are the things prohibited by Allah not eating something good or not wearing something good these things have not been prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for every community and every nation there is a time fixed 
neither the punishment can come before that even if the prophet wants that they should be punished now enough is enough they have denied me they have refuted me no it's not on your authority we have read last night law kana indi ma tastajiruna bihi laqad al-amru baini wa bainakum had it been in my power then you know the settle the, the matter between you and me would have been settled long ago so that is the the i i need to hear again neither it can be delayed for an hour nor it can be brought earlier ya bani adam ma yat yannakum rusulum minkum now these ayat are just like the concluding ayat of the fourth section of surah al baqara fa imma yat yannakum minni hudan faman tabi'a hudaya fala khawfun alayhim wala hum yazanun wal ladina kafaru wa kazzabu bi ayatina ulaika ashabun nar hum fiha khalidun ya bani adam ma yat yannakum rusulum minkum O oh, children of Adam, whenever messengers will come to you from me, the kusuna alaykum ayati, relating to you and narrating to you and reciting unto you my revelations. From an itaqa, so whosoever will fear Allah, will have taqwa of Allah, will have proper regard for Allah, will have the consciousness of Allah, waslaha, and mend his ways and rectifies his, his uh, behavior. Fala khafun alayhim 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 yazanun. So there will be no fear upon them, nor they will grieve. Well, the Jinn are kazabu be ayatena. As for those who will deny our revelations, who will belie them, was takbaru anha and turn away their faces from that due to arrogance and haughtiness. Ulai kashabun nar. They will be the people of fire, whom fiha khalidun, and they will remain it forever, forever. For man azlamu min man iftara ala Allah kaziban or kazabu be ayati. So this subject has been repeated many times. Who is more evil doer than the one who concocts something and uh, some uh, some false thing and then attributes it to Allah? Or kazaba be ayatihi? And in the same way, who can be more evil doer than that that person who belies his revelation? Ulai ka yanaluhum nasibuhum min al kitab. They will have their portion which has been ordained for them. in this world till they remain they will be eating they will be drinking they will have money they will have all the comforts this is which allah subhanahu wa taala has already written for them in their taqdeer it is the destiny they will partake from it ulaika yanaluhum nasibuhum min alkitab hatta idha jaathum rusuluna so when then our messenger will come to them our messengers and here it means the angels of death yatawaffaunahum and they will take possession of their souls qalu aina ma kuntum tad'una min dunillah they will say where are those whom you were praying and calling besides allah where are your associate gods qalu dallu anna they will say they have vanished away from us they have gone with the wind they have just vanished wa shahidu ala anfusihim and they will testify against their own selves annahum kanu kafirin that they were the unbelievers اللهم ربنا لا تجعلنا منهم او اور لارڈ ڈونٹ انکلوڈ اس ان دوز پیپل بارک اللہ لی ولکم فی القران العظیم ونفعنی واياکم بالایات والذکر الحکیم